Hello, Austin. My name is Jonathan, and I am a junior at Austin High School, and joining me today is Cantor Margot Goldberg. Cantor Margot, can you please introduce yourself and your professional role? Sure. Shalom. Shalom is a Hebrew word meaning hello, goodbye, and peace. In a world filled with strife, this is one of a series of PSAs trying to bring about shalom, peace, and an understanding about our unique differences. These unique differences are what makes up Ossining as a community and will be stronger if our approach is to understand our differences and use them as strengths to support each other and lift each other up. One of the things I like most about Ossining is its diversity. Our ability to work, learn, and live together is what makes our community special. My name is Margot, but professionally, I am called Cantor Margot. I'm a resident of Austining, and my child is currently a senior in Austining High School. Cantor is my title. I'm a clergy member of the Jewish faith, and among my responsibilities, I'm a teacher, a leader. I preside during life cycles of all kinds, and as a singer, I lead the congregation in song during prayer and worship. Some forms of bias are symbols. We are extremely concerned about the discovery of swastikas in our school. Can you help us understand the history of the swastika and why it is a symbol of hate? I too have been disturbed throughout the year by the many emails sent from the superintendent's office announcing that a swastika was found in one of our school buildings. A swastika is a symbol of hate. Although the symbol was originally found in Asian cultures as a religious symbol of prosperity, in the 20th century, Hitler and the Nazi party adopted the symbol as a symbol of hate. During World War II, it became a symbol of hate towards anyone who was different from Hitler's idea of perfection. Hitler and his army started by focusing that hate on Jews, but it was also those with different skin tones, individuals with disabilities, and the LGBTQIA community. As a result of World War II and the Holocaust, the swastika continues to be strongly associated with Nazism, anti-Semitism, white supremacy, and simply evil. Can you tell us more about your personal connection to our community and your personal reactions when you read or heard that another swastika had been discovered in our schools? As a leader and member of the community, I am saddened and scared that some students in our community are drawing the symbol on desks and bathroom stalls. This symbol of hate is not to be taken lightly. It doesn't matter how small it is or if it was drawn in a hidden place. It is anti-Semitism and brings fear to the Jewish community. My child returned home from school one day and announced, Mom, you're gonna get another email. We found a swastika in our classroom today. What bothered me most was that they seemed to view it as commonplace, as something that just happens in our community, in our neighborhood. They're also worried about hatred and wearing Jewish symbols in school that they should be proud to wear. None of our students should walk around our schools or our communities worried that sharing the love of their faith and people makes them a target. Do you have any closing thoughts for us? When one form of hate rises, they all do. So now more than ever, we must stand up to all hate together. Hate in any form and the silence that enables it will tear apart our society, moving our country backwards rather than towards a stronger future. Please join me to stand up to Jewish hate and all hate.